हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गुरु मंत्र शिक्षा का ग्रंथ आई एम योर एजुकेटर निधि दुआ एंड आई टीच यू केमिस्ट्री एट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स इन पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंप्लीट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट ग्रुप थर्टीन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स बिगिन आर टूडे टॉपिक If we talk about a general overview of p block then the p block elements are those elements of periodic table in which the differentiating electron or the last electron enters the p sub shell of the last outermost shell since the maximum capacity of any atomic orbital is of two electrons with opposite spins according to pauli's principle the maximum number of electron that can be accommodated in any p sub shell is 6 as a result the p sub shell of periodic table consists of 6 group number 1 is your 13th group then 14th then 15th then 16th then 17th and then 18th group that is also known as zero group with inert gases on the basis of electronic configuration the element helium is to be excluded from the p block helium is not included in the p block elements because its last electron enters the s sub shell of the last shell now let's begin the boron family group number 13 these are the p block elements having three electrons in their valence shell and thus placed in the third a or 13th group this group consists of five elements the name of five elements are as boron aluminum gallium indium and thallium boron exhibits mostly non metallic behavior boron is the only element in group 13 that is not classified as a metal boron exhibits mo mostly non metallic behavior Now talking about the general characteristics of group 13th element number 1 is the physical properties all the elements except gallium are solid boron is a non metal hard inert which means it do not reacts generally and a poor conductor of electricity Boron has a very high melting point due to the unusual icosahedron crystal structure. You have to remember this point that boron has a icosahedron crystal like structure due to which it has very high melting point and it consists of 12 atom. In a boron crystal each boron atom is bonded to five equivalent another boron atoms to form 12 corners and 20 faces This is also very important so you have to memorize this point Next is the electronic configuration the general valence shell electronic configuration of group 13 elements is ns2 np1 type and where n represents the principal quantum number and the value of n varies from 2 to 6 for example in case of boron the general electronic configuration will be helium 2s2 2p1 next talking about atomic ion ionic radii group 13 elements are smaller than corresponding s block elements as they have greater effective nuclear charge on moving down the group atomic radii is expected to increase because one extra shell of electron is added to the successive member the atomic radii the atomic radius of gallium is smaller than that of aluminum due to the poor shielding effect of inner d orbital this point is very important the atomic radii of gallium is smaller than that of aluminum reason being poor shielding effect 
of inner d orbital there is a minor difference in size of indium and thallium due to the lanthanoid contraction so the correct order for atomic radii is this you have to memorize the atomic order radii in case of group number 13 next is the ionization enthalpy along the period ionization enthalpy usually increases on account of increased effective nuclear charge group 13 element have lowest first ionization enthalpy than corresponding alkaline earth metals due to the unstable electronic configuration as expected from the general trend the ionization enthalpy do not decreases smoothly down the group and the order for ionization enthalpy is this next is the oxidation state these element shows plus 1 and plus 3 oxidation state Boron and aluminium shows plus three oxidation state, while other element shows plus one and plus three both oxidation states in their respective compounds. Plus one oxidation state is more stable on moving the down due to increase in inner pair effect. If you talk about the relative stability of M plus and M plus three ion, where M represents the group thirteen. metal or we can say the group 13th element in case of plus 1 oxidation state the relative stability increases down the group while in case of plus 3 oxidation state relative stability decreases down the group so you have to memorized both the points in case of relative stability of m plus and m plus 3 ions next is the electronegativity in comparison to s block elements group 13th elements are more electronegative due to higher effective nuclear charge exceptionally aluminum is most metallic so this is the correct order for electronegativity next is the tendency to form ionic compound tendency to form ionic compound increases from boron to thallium ionization enthalpy of boron is very high and it is not compensated by lattice energy as well as hydration and energy that is why this boron only forms covalent compounds the high charge density of aluminum allows it to form both covalent and ionic compound that's why aluminum acts as a amphoteric compound means aluminum can acts as a metal or acts as a non metal these mx3 type compounds in case of group number 13 can are covalent in nature while mf3 is ionic except bf3 this was all about physical properties of group 13th element now the chemical properties of group 3 group 13th element number 1 is reactivity with air reactivity towards air when you move down the group from boron to thallium reactivity with air increases while crystalline boron structure is inert while finely finely divided boron reacts with air to form b2o3 at high temperature boron and aluminum forms nitride on heating all the metals of group 13 react with o2 forms m2o3 type compound here i would suggest that you have to memorize all the reaction you have to write these reaction at one place and keep revising them on day, on daily basis because you know it very well this is in organic chemistry you have to learn all the reaction you have to learn all the order orders of every physical property next reactivity towards acids and alkalis pure crystalline boron does not react with non oxidizing acids like hcl while 
This can react with a mixture of concentrated H2SO4 and HNO3 at high temperature. As this is high strong oxidizing acid, boron will react with H2SO4, concentrated H2SO4 and HNO3 at high, te high temperature to yield boric acid. Boron plus 3 moles of HNO3 aqueous at high temperature and in presence of concentrated H2SO4 will form boric acid that is H3BO3. Amorphous boron liberates hydrogen gas when reacting with alkali NaOH. Aluminium, gallium, indium and thallium react with both non-oxidizing and oxidizing acids to evolve H2. Except boron, all the rest elements react with both non-oxidizing and oxidizing. While in case of boron, boron only reacts with oxidizing acids. Next, reactivity towards halogen. Boron reacts with X2 at high temperature to form trihalide. Boron reacts with halogen atom at high temperature and this will form a trihalide that is BX3 type. All BX3 are covalent and in nature. The geometry of BX3 like compounds is diagonal planar with the bond angle 120 degree as you can see here and this boron atom in case of BH3 is sp2 hybridized which has 6 valence electron means this is electron deficient and that's why electron deficient as you know electron deficient acts as a Lewis acid. Next when you talk about the acidic strength of Lewis acid this will follow a general trend that is from BF3 to Bi3 the strength of Lewis acid increases. As you know BF3 should be the strongest Lewis acid but this unusual order of acidic strength can be explained with the concept of P pi P pi back bonding. Other elements of group 13 also forms trihalide except Tl. Thallium will not form a trihalide but rest of all the elements will form trihalide. Halides of aluminium to thallium are ionic in solid state. Fluorides aluminium to thallium are ionic crystalline solid with high melting point and other halides are predominantly covalent in anhydrous state. Next the complex formation. Due to the high charge density M plus 3, these elements have much great tendency to form complexes than S block element. I hope now you all are cleared about the physical and chemical properties of group 13th element. Now we are going to study about the chemistry of group number 13th element means we are going to study about the compounds of boron family. Number 1 is the borax that is Na2B4O7 dot 10 H2O. This is the way to represent this formula, this structure and you can also write the, the formula of borax as this Na2B4O5 OH whole 4 dot 8 H2O. If you want to prepare borax, you simply have to do this, these reactions. Borex bead test. Borex is heated to high temperature. It forms a transparent glassy mass. When the glassy mass is brought into contact with the basic oxides, they will form metaborate. And the reaction is as follows. Various oxides provide different colors. Some of them are these. You have to remember the color of these oxides. And the structure of borax is like this and this is your borax bead test. You have to remember these structures the about the borax. And the chemical property of borax is this. The solution of borax is alkaline in nature due to the hydrolysis. Next is the diborane. Diborane formula is B2H6 
the preparation method for B2H6 are these you have to remember all the points all the reactions you have to learn all the reactions how to prepare B2H6 diborane number one is when you react two moles of boron with three magnesium Mg3 B2 will form and when H3PO4 will react with Mg3 B2 B2H6 will form like this the second reaction third reaction and fourth reaction proper talking about the properties of B2H6 when NH3 reacts with B2H6 at low temperature high temperature and 1 is to 2 ratio different compounds will form at low temperature B2H6 dot 2NH3 will form at high temperature BN6 will form that is borazone or inorganic graphite BN6 at in the ratio of 1 is to 2 this will form BH2 NH3 whole twice plus BH4 minus and when you give this at high temperature borazine will form that is also known as inorganic benzene and the formula is B3 N3 H6 and the structure is this here one hydrogen will came one second here also hydrogen will be placed okay so this is a borazol or borazine with formula B3 N3 H6 and also known as inorganic benzene but BN6 is your inorganic graphite you have to learn this BN6 is inorganic graphite Okay, BN6 is an organic graphite. It was all about diborane. Next is orthoboric acid. That is also known as H3BO3 or we can represent this as BOH whole thrice. Talking about the preparation method, H3BO3 will form from borax. When you react borax with H2SO4 and with water, you will get 4H3BO3. Second is from columnite. When you call when you react this Ca2 B6O11 with SO2 and H2O, you will get H3BO3. This was the method of preparation. And the properties of H3BO3 is when you react BOH3 with H2O, you will get BOH whole 4 plus H plus I. On the action of heat. At 100 degrees Celsius, this will form metaboric. Then at high temperature at 160 degrees Celsius, this will form tetraboric. And in presence of red hot, it will form B2O3 that is your boron trioxide. In case of reaction with alcohol, this will give a bore test for boric acid. And in case when you do this test, at last you will get triethyl borate green, uh, green edge flame this is the final test to test the presence of boric acid and the compound form is BO6 BOC2H5 plus 3H2O you have to remember these points I hope now you all are clear about the compounds of chemistry of boron this was all about group number 13th boron family in case if you are new here at our YouTube channel, please do like, share and subscribe. You can also join our Telegram channel Gurmantra for new more updates related to your exam. For any further queries, please mail us on tanejanehaofficial at gmail.com or you can also contact us. Thank you very much guys. I hope you like the video.